Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And the world's global stock markets are on the slide this morning after a really strong sell-off in the commodity markets overnight uh, with uh, Glencore, one of the biggest miners on the FTSE 100, dropping a whopping 30% yesterday. Anglo-American down over 10% and most other mining stocks in complete disarray as commodity prices slump right across the globe. Specifically looking at copper, those prices uh, came down to multi-year lows yesterday and China has been particularly hard hit uh, with the Shanghai Composite Index down over 2.5% this morning. The US 30 having a very negative day yesterday, uh, dropping a, a number of hundreds of points and is down towards the bottom end of its range already this morning. Plus, we have a negative crossover on the MACD as well. So a bit of a shaky start first thing this morning. Looking at the UK 100, you can see there a similar candle formation, also trading towards the bottom of our range, with the MACD also posting a negative candle. The next potential support level to be aware of on this market right here is down here around about 57.70. So we've smashed through that 6,000 level by at least 100 points already and uh, moving to the downside. Looking at Japan 225, also breaking below 17,500, with the next potential support level being at 16,392. And you can even see the tip of this candle, uh, which would have been that short-term potential support, has been broken already this morning. And obviously, that sell-off in China is hitting Japan 225 a little, a little bit more. And news just came through earlier on this morning that um, uh, India cut their interest rates. They were expecting 25 basis points, actually came in at 50 basis, basis points, which is much more than expected. Um, so there is a lot of stimulus going out there in other markets. Looking at dollar-yen, um, dollar-yen, the US dollar actually rolling over ever slightly as people were safe haven buying the yen when there's uncertainty in the market. Um, but the dollar, you would have thought we'd be getting a little bit of extra love because another um, Fed member came out last night and said that maybe October FOMC session might be the time to, uh, to think about rates. But uh, on Wednesday, uh, which is tomorrow, Janet Yellen has given yet another speech on the U.S. economy. Um, but the market isn't uh, isn't taking U.S. dollar as it being that positive right now. But 119 is the next potential support level to be aware of on dollar yen. But there is certainly some safe haven buying on that FX pair right now. Moving on to West Texas crude, uh, actually surprisingly since the other markets have come off quite aggressively, West Texas crude has not come off quite so much with 45.85 still being potential support with $42 still being the longer term potential, uh, so the other one with resistance being the next potential support, other technicals are flattening out. This market might be impacted by Wednesday's uh, crude oil inventories. Um, but certainly uh, it's not moving as much as what you would expect. So looking at gold, um, gold again is coming off more so maybe from the commodity sell off rather than anything else. Um, because US dollar hasn't, hasn't been gaining that much momentum against the Japanese yen, but it is a safe haven. Um, but gold you would expect to be getting a little bit of extra uh, buying love as well because it's also a safe haven and if US rates aren't going to rise anytime soon, you'd be expecting this to get a bit more of, a, of an uplift. But certainly um, that commodities route is impacting the yellow metal as well. With 1137 firmly broken uh, as of yesterday and we're on the wrong side of that line right now. So let's have a look at the US dollar in a bit more detail. So you can see actually the US dollar is not doing a huge amount either. Um, the euro has managed to get some gains in there with a positive candle yesterday. Um, we're at the top end of the range so far this morning, just trading above both moving averages in the middle of two ranges right now. One spot 11 and one spot 14.75. And then moving on to GBP USD. Um, it's not had the same bounce as the euro instantly, so uh, interestingly. So one spot, 51.85 is still the potential support level. It's not having that really strong bounce that we'd like to see, but it's not smashing through yet either. But if we do, one spot, 48.13 is the potential support level to be aware of. So economic data-wise, in the UK, we've got the Halifax Housing Price Index due at 8 a.m. UK time. Um, and then we have a raft of German data which will impact the DAX or the Germany 30 and the Euro dollar, Euro sterling. Uh, and we've got a consumer price index, the CPI, due at 1, a 1 p.m. Uh, UK time. And follow that up by 3 p.m. UK time, you've got the consumer confidence index for the US, which is expected at 96.1. Uh, However, going to Wednesday, uh, we've got uh, German retail sales, US house pri uh, UK house prices, and um, uh, UK balance of payments and GDP, uh, and then followed that up by Eurozone CPI and employment rate data and ADP private payrolls and that crude oil inventory. So 
Wednesday, a pretty big day for economic data, but then Thursday, it's just PMI data after PMI data after PMI data. So it's going to be a crazy Wednesday. It's certainly going to be an interesting Thursday. And then Friday brings non-farm payrolls, which is obviously the biggest economic macro data release off the calendar. Make sure you don't miss out on our webinar. If you go to support and then go to live trader events, you can sign up to Michael Hewson and Jasper Lawyer and Colin Kinski's um, webinar, uh, where they will dissect and break down that non-farm payroll session um, 15 minutes before and talk about it for 15 minutes after. And it's a very, very popular session. So make sure you don't miss out on that webinar, which starts at 1.15 p.m. UK time, just before the non-farm payrolls announcement. So guys, that um, gives you an idea of what's happening in the markets. Keep your eye on the chart forum. I can see there's uh, Jasper's done a lot of interesting analysis. You've got Michael Houston on there doing some analysis too. Insights, make sure you get the eye of the global analyst team right here. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.